What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rusty and we are back for part four. Is it three, four, five? I'm not sure. You guys can tell, you know, from the title above. This is the drive-in, the 2016 Great Dane Rebuild. And if you guys don't know what this thing is, just please go ahead, watch part one, part two, part three. I think this is part four, right? And yeah, I'll catch you guys up of what the heck is going on. I'm not gonna, you know, repeat any of my stuff. And we are just, you know, we're keep on going, guys. Uh, let's keep on working. Last episode, the beams went on, the doors, are fabricated back on. I mean, these doors were effed up. I mean, they, they were pretty bad. I got my worker right there. We are rebuilding that corner. Yes, this corner is next on the list. So we're grinding up some of those uh, rivets and we are taking this bad rail out. We have the new rail right here. We have the end cap that we already purchased that goes on top right there. Yeah, let's go. We have migrated to this side of the trailer. There's the old rail. I mean, it's definitely brand new. If anybody wants it, $700 for this piece. But yeah, had to cut it off. A couple more pieces right there. And we have to start working on the front rail. The front rail, everybody said I need to change, but I was like, nah, fam. If we fix those doors, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go back in my other video. It's insane. We fix those doors. We can fix this rail. This rail was like all the way right here and we almost got it. You just gotta massage it, you know what I'm saying, folks? It's aluminum, so you gotta, you gotta do that massage. <clears throat> Some people did ask about who's your new worker. I've explained to this, I think in my first or second video that uh, we had to hire on somebody from uh, my home country, Ukraine. And uh, yeah, he, ha he knows the trade. He knows everything, welding, fabricating. I mean, everything. It's worth for me to pay him and um, yeah, get some help with this. Cause I, I don't feel like rebuilding this thing for a year. I want it to be done within the next week. All right, got this frame rail all done and we are ready. We have our little corner piece right here. What we're gonna do is uh, pretty much build this already and glue it all together and then throw the little air rivets in there. You might be asking, what the heck is this thing I'm holding? This is literally a piece of metal that I have painted black and then I put scotch tape all over it. A lot of people are gonna be kind of confused what the heck this thing is and I'm just gonna tell you guys something real quick that we are supposed to insert this black piece and merge these two together underneath these things. Nobody will ever see this. I'm gonna know it's there and then everybody that watched this is gonna know it's there, but that's it. And why I put scotch tape all over it, I think some people are gonna understand, some people will not understand uh, that steel isn't supposed to touch aluminum bare metal it's not supposed to because over time if this steel starts rusting it's gonna start like pretty much corroding the aluminum and that's how pretty much this whole trailer is held up if it's touching steel then it's, it has scotch tape over it so it doesn't rust sounds a little weird but that's just how it is yeah let's start assembling this thing some people ask to show you guys how to put these rivets and these air rivets. Well, I'm about to show you, I guess. It's gonna be hard. I'm gonna be doing it while I'm recording by myself. I made this custom head. These rivets go in there like this, and then you bam, bam, giggity, bam, you know? Okay, I can't, I can't record. And 
because look at look at the sketchy stuff that's going on here like i'm like 10 feet up in the air but i mean you guys get it So we got that rail done. Now it's gonna be fixing, you know, that hole right there. And I have a great solution. We're gonna be installing this diamond plated, I don't, I don't know exactly what it's called, but a lot of toolbox uses, this thing doesn't rust or anything like that. And we're gonna be plating each front corner with this. And it's for strength because the other is like a thin sheet metal. This is like way thicker. So I get to run into trees and stuff like that with it. That's my fix for that. I don't feel like changing the whole, you know, corner. Might as well just add a, you know, steel plate to it. We're gonna go ahead and cut it off and install. I mean, it's not bad, not bad at all. We got everything buttoned up all the way. Yeah, don't mind my caulking job. It's first time caulking, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, yeah, I'm still learning guys, still learning, but everything's seamed up. Let me show you the inside. Inside looks a little ratchet, but it's not bad. There's gonna be a metal sheet right here, this corner that comes up right there and it covers everything. So nobody's gonna see anything. We're gonna caulk a little bit more around there so it doesn't leak, but it's not gonna leak. I almost guarantee it. And we're gonna start installing that side. fellas we are done with this rail right here we are just finishing up some touches right there my buddy is uh finishing caulking or caulking or a uh, whatever it is in english that word and yeah this rail looks nice i will show you guys how we stitched it together right there in a second and we got these cones on got the caulking done all around here it looks fresh guys it looks really good like i said it's not going to be pretty inside here but we have these covers that go on here and they're gonna cover everything up. Not a big deal. This was kind of a pain in the butt, guys. It seemed like it was done pretty fast and I'm sorry that there's a lot of fast forwarding going on. It's just, you know, I really need to get this done ASAP because I need to get to work. You know what I'm saying? The major stitch was right here. So a lot of people are gonna pretty much argue in the comments because all you guys are so professional at this. By the way, first time rebuilding a trailer. I have no clue what I'm doing. Please do not follow any of my advice here, but we stitched it up by just adding supports. We have a support on the back. We have a support right here connecting these two pieces. And then we have a support on top right here. And we bolt it all together with rivets and bolts. We're gonna be cutting these out, caulking more of this later. And yeah caulking everything together. It looks pretty good. In my opinion, it looks pretty good. Uh, the only issue, all this will be covered up by these planks. The only thing you're gonna see is this and this extra bar here, but we're gonna caulk it up. It's gonna be barely, barely visible, guys. It's not a big deal. A lot of people are gonna argue the fact where, you, well, you're supposed to actually TIG weld that aluminum piece all the way down. Actually, no, you can if you want. The problem with TIG welding uh, right here, there is a lot of wiggle room here. For example, this trailer vibrates and moves around a lot. The first three loads I'm gonna get in here, that TIG weld is gonna crack, 100% guaranteed. This is why you don't TIG weld it. You just put a bunch of supports here and then uh, you, I guess, man, whatever. I mean, you can do it both ways, I guess. You guys, you know, prove me wrong in the comments. We're, next step, I guess, is 
we need to paint the rear. So if you guys seen my, I think three, episode two, episode three, we replaced a beam right there and all that is rusted up. We need to grind it down, caulk, finish caulking it up. And we're painting this piece all the way down. We're actually finishing, ow. The bumper area also we're painting. We're trying to match a gray color like this. So we're gonna paint the bumper, make it look fresh, paint this up all the way around. Yeah, it's gonna be fresh, boys. It's gonna be fresh. Also, you guys seen how we replaced and bent this back into place. I was gonna paint this also. There's really no point because when you paint this, the first three loads, it's all scuffed up and it looks worse than it is now. So I'm not gonna paint it. There's really, really no point in painting it at all. Also, I'm a little retarded. So you see how these beams, you see this, uh, how much the space has? You see how much space we have in between these beams? I accidentally ordered six extra beams. Roof bows, whatever they're called, roof bows. Yeah, so I've decided to not return them. I've decided to install extra roof supports. Since this was damaged, we added three extra roof supports here. And then we decided to add two extra supports in the middle of the trailer right there. And then extra right there. I think, did I order? Hold on, I can see that like I'm saying, I can't count at all. I think I ordered like eight extra or I don't know. Anyways, extra supports here, extra supports in the middle and extra supports in the back. I mean, I'm not gonna lie guys, this trailer is gonna be way more tougher to break than from factory. So yeah, let's get to painting this after we finish caulking that. And she is almost done boys. Last step is to roll the roof. We got most of the bumper prepped and sealed on the sides. Over here, if you guys remember, we had this big scrape. Everybody thought I'm gonna be like cutting all these sheets and changing these sheets. You guys kidding me? I don't got the time for that. So you know how we do it? We do it the right way and we seal it. It's the special sealer, bond, whatever for trailers. And we're filling her in. She's gonna be brand new boys. By the way, before I forget, you guys remember that we have a couple holes here, a big gouge right there from the accident. One of these uh, bows pretty much slid in right there. And we will be showing you how to make uh, prakladke. In my language, it's prakladke, but uh, I guess in uh, English, it is patches. So we will, there's one right there and one over there. We'll be showing you how we're gonna be patching this up. Pretty easy, very, very, very easy. Uh, and it's foolproof, so. No big deal. Well, I had to kind of go out for a trip to Miami and back. If you guys know what I'm saying, I just came back. It is been a couple days, but my father has stated that he helped me out and he painted that for me. So let's go check it out. Woo! Damn! She looking fresh. Oh, snap. Oh, yes. She looking good. It's a little too good. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little too good. The frame has been sprayed also the same color. A little bit blow by right here. It's not a big deal. Nobody's gonna see none of that. Man, wow. Looks brand new, boys. Looks brand new. I think, yeah, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Noise, noise, noise. We have done a lot. We have done a lot of work. Well, boys, I think this is the end of this episode four. Is it four, three? Is it four, three, five? I don't know, whatever episode this is. And yeah, this is the end. Man, she is ready to go. She is a convertible still, but you guys know the last step of this rebuild is to roll the roof all along the sides and staple it all together. And that 
is the last part of this rebuild so that is going to be next video guys and it's going to be awesome and fast we are not going to waste any more time she's going to be on a road here next week i do have a surprise for you though did you expect me to tell you guys the surprise now no nah, no nah, fam next video i will tell you the surprise and i'll give you a hint it has something to do with the title of this trailer so yeah stay tuned guys it's going to be very soon we're gonna show you how we roll this roof and staple it all together and do little maintenance around the axles and stuff like that. Install the lights. I'm gonna install a little tire cage over there for next video. It's gonna be awesome. I appreciate it. Stick tuned to my videos, you know, truck driving videos, maybe some rebuild videos coming up, um, salvage forklift rebuilds. I don't know, maybe, who knows? But yeah, stick tuned guys. Like always, be blessed and stay safe. Deuces.